Hello all, welcome to session 83. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate parameters and arguments in Python functions. So let's get started. What exactly are these parameters and arguments? In Python, we use this parameters and arguments to pass data to functions. If you want to pass data to functions in Python, we have to use parameters and arguments. But how exactly these parameters and arguments look like? Let me practically show you. For that, I'll first open this PyCharm ID where we have this Python file. Inside this Python file, I'll create a function. In the previous session, I explained how to create functions. Let me quickly create a function. df my second function. Like this, I'm going to create a function, guys. Print some sample print statement inside the function body. I kept this is a function, guys. But is this function capable of receiving the data? The answer is no. Why? Because inside the circular brackets, there are no parameters. That's why this function doesn't receive any data. Okay, we have to create parameters inside the circular brackets of this function, then only it can receive the data. Here, let me create a single parameter say name. Now, this function can receive the data that is for one type of data. Okay, one data can be received by this function. So how to pass the data to this function? How to pass the data to this function? For that, we'll, we have to call this function, okay? For that, we have to call this function, like my second underscore function. We have to call this function like this, okay? And pass the data. Here, I'll pass my name, say, okay? Name, say, our motor, I'll pass here, okay? I'll pass my name. So this is called as argument. Inside the function calling statement, whatever the data you are passing to this particular function, that is nothing but argument. This part is argument, whereas this part is parameter, okay? Using the function calling statement, we can pass the argument, which is nothing but data. This data will be received by this parameter of this particular function, and we can use this particular parameter in the function body, like this, okay? So my name is, I can use this parameter, guys, inside the function body, like this, okay? Plus name, like this, okay? So, now, if I run this code, guys, this argument, which is nothing but data, will be passed to this parameter. And when this print statement inside the function is executed, okay, it will it will use this data. Okay, it will store this data. Right, name is storing this particular data, which is passed from the argument. Okay, this parameter is has is having the data or motor is stored, and that will be printed here. Okay, right click on it. You see, my name is Arun motor. If I call the same function again, okay, with uh, by passing another argument. A different type of argument. Let's say instead of Arun Motor, if I pass Varun Dawat, okay, this time this argument will be passed to this uh, function and uh, okay, and to this particular parameter of this function, and that parameter will be printed here. That means Varun Dawat will be printed. So if I run this code, what will be the output, guys? First, this function calling statement will be executed, and Arun Motor will be passed to this parameter, say name, and in the function body, there is a print statement which is printing the name, which, which will print Arun Motori. My name is Arun Motori will be printed first. After that, this function calling statement will be executed and this Varun Dawat will be passed to this name parameter and this print statement will be printing. My name is Varun Dawat will be printed. Okay, two statements will be printed guys, in the output. Right click, run it, you see, two statements. My name is Arun Motori, my name is Varun Dawat will be printed in the output console. So hope guys you understood what exactly are these parameters and arguments in Python functions. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.